What's up guys, this is I Tweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now last week I did the best tweaks of the month, and a few of you were complaining that the video was a little bit too long. It was about 11 minutes long, but of course it was going to be a little bit longer because that was the best tweaks of the month, and there's going to be a few more tweaks in there. But for this week, I want to go ahead and get through these tweaks a little bit quicker, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is called Call Shortcut. Now what this tweak does is basically add an icon to your springboard that links to a contact. Then you can tap on that icon and it's going to automatically call that contact. So you don't actually have to go into your phone application and look for the number or anything like that. So very simple to set up. All you need to do right here, you can see, is go to your phone application, open up a phone contact, and then scroll down here to the bottom. Once you've installed this tweak, you'll see a new option to add to home screen. We'll tap on that. You can see that it says the call shortcut has been added. So now when we swipe over, which we've, I've actually already added this twice, and they're very easy to delete, as you can see right there. Just go ahead and tap on it to delete. But then when you tap on the contact, it's going to automatically call that person. Now, I don't have a SIM card installed in this phone because I'm using the 6 Plus right now, but of course, this is going to call that person when you tap on that icon. So a pretty cool little tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called Flurry. Now, Flurry is just a visual tweak, and I think it actually looks pretty good, something I'm gonna be leaving on my jailbroken device for now. But you can see right here, if I swipe up on the control center, you would get that nice transparent look. Now, this is gonna be uh, all throughout the entire device, not just the control center, it's gonna work for the notification center, as you can see right here. I just think it looks pretty good. Also, for uh, certain applications that have these banners, you can see, that we have this nice little blur effect. Now it is a little glitchy as you can see when I start to scroll up right here, it kind of glitches up and down a little bit. But really it's not that big of an issue, especially if you're going kind of quick. But if you're going slow, you can kind of notice that glitching going on up there. Now there are some settings that you can't configure within the settings, but uh, I like to use it as it is on default. But if we jump into flurry settings right here, you can see that you do need to enable this. And if you make any changes, you will have to respring your device. But right here, you have all these toggles for blur, the color tint alpha, grayscale tint alpha. And you can see you can actually mess with this stuff. But I'm not really going to show that to you in this video. But if you guys want to tinker with that, then definitely check it out. This is a free tweak in Cydia. Next up, we have a tweak called scrub around. Now, what this tweak does is get rid of that really skinny scrubber that you usually get on your uh, control center right here and it gives you basically a knob that looks just like the brightness knob as well as the volume knob right here so you can see if we wanted to scrub through this it just feels a little more native to grab a little bit easier to grab as well just because you're not trying to tap on that extremely thin line so you can just scroll across right there and scrub very easily that's all that this tweak does i just think it looks a little bit better than that straight up and down line uh, for the scrubber Next up, we have internal photos. Now, this tweak is not incredible by any means, but it's something that I did want to mention. You can see right here, if we go into our photos, and then if we tap on our albums, make sure you're in your albums, you're going to get a new little gear icon, which is basically the internal photo setting. So if we tap on that, you can see that there's two options right here, and then you have some debug options. Of course, you can always tap restore all defaults if you screw something up. But right here, this is basically just like hidden settings, but you can tap on the photo grid. You can see there's a toggle for fake all videos, which I'm not exactly 100% sure what does uh, but you also back here have the feed and there's a ton of different options right here and this is just one of those tweaks that you want to go into and tinker with yourself rather than me explaining every single thing just because I mean that would first of all take forever but I mean you can see right here that you have your image formats and you can see the quality control toggles speedometer there's just a bunch of stuff right here that you can mess with and see if it's uh, really anything you want to tinker with for me I didn't really find anything that I thought was extraordinary but I I figured I'd mention it in this video and see if you guys want to check it out. Next up, we have a tweet called Type and Talk. Now, what this tweet does is basically give you the ability to use the dictation method on your keyboard and still have the keyboard here. So if you want to type something out and say something for whatever reason, then you can do so. So you can see right here, if I tap on this, it doesn't get rid of our keyboard here. So we can continue to type whatever we want to. We'll just say, yo, what's up? And then when we hit the dictation button again, you can see that it's actually going to input everything that I said. So that's basically how this tweak works. It gets rid of that waveform right here and allows you to continue typing while you're dictating. Now to enable this, you will have to go into your settings here and you need to go into your general and then scroll down here to keyboard and then just toggle on type and talk. Simple as that. 
And last but not least, we have a tweet called Impulse. Now what this tweet does is give you the ability to control your music while your device is asleep. Now everything is activated with a single tap. So all your gestures are basically going to be uh, tap to play or tap to pause, a swipe to the right or a swipe to the left to go to the previous or next song, as well as a swipe up to increase the volume or a swipe down to decrease the volume. Now I'll show you all that in real time, but remember everything is activated with a single tap to begin with. So if we start playing some music here and we go to our lock screen, you can see if we double tap, first tap to activate, single tap to play or pause. So we'll do it again, this should start playing. Very simple, and if we tap once and then swipe, we should go to the previous song or the next song. So that goes to the previous song, which basically just started this one over. So if we go to the next song, you can see, pretty simple how that works. Now if we play this and then we wanna turn it down, you can see how that works and this is turning up so pretty cool little tweak and if you have any issues with actually using this tweak or trying to get the gestures down if I could unlock my device here we'll jump into our settings and we'll go back to impulse down here and we open that up you can see that you have some settings. You have enable, obviously you want this enabled. You have an idle threshold, so how long do you want it to listen after the music has been stopped or paused? Right now it has set to two minutes, which is a pretty good uh, time frame. You also have a secure tap. You can turn off if you want to. The secure tap is basically that first tap. So if you want to toggle that off, then you can just swipe without having to tap or tap once to pause, tap once to play. Uh, you can turn that off right here. You also have invert gestures if you want to do that. You also have a toggle down here to ignore music. And if you need the user guide, this is what I was talking about. Here are your gestures. So tap once to play or pause, swipe right for next track, swipe left for previous track, up to increase volume, down to decrease volume. <laughs> But that's basically all I have for you guys this week. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.